a unique little helicopter in its own right, the Bolko 105. Versatile in any role. Okay, so before we start out, just want to say that the first part of this information is correct as of late 1996, and the second part is correct as of late 2021. Because some of the stats may overlap a bit, I just wanted to get that out of the way. It was on the 16th of February 1967 that the Bolko BO-105 flew for the first time, and was to rival itself as one of the most agile helicopters of its generation, propelled in its standard BO-105C and BO-105CB version by two Allison Turbine 250 C20 B engines, the machine could carry five passengers as well as the pilot or six stretchers in the medivac version. The key to the agility of the BO-105, which can perform various aerobatic manoeuvres, lies in its titanium rigid rotor head. The machine produced by Messerschmitt Bolko at Denenworth is also assembled under licence by C. ASA in Spain, IPTN in Indonesia, and a civilian version by Eurocopter Canada. With 304 machines, circa late 1996, remember, the German Armed Forces, the Bundeswehr, is the main user of the BO-105 reconnaissance version, with 100 BO-105Ms, called VBH, and 212 BO-105P anti-tank versions and these are armed with six pods. BGM-71 tow, tube launched optical tracked wire guided. These are produced by the United States and in service since 1970 to present and it was designed from 1963 to 1968 and the designer is Hughes Aircraft Company so I imagine that is Howard Hughes. So the missiles that we used this is the second generation this is called the HOT 3 and this has been in service since 1977 for both the French and German armed forces so the older missile was the SS-11 and this was produced from 1956 to the mid-1980s with 180,000 built. So of course when the Bolko first entered service with the Bundeswehr then this would have of course been the anti-tank missile that they used. The agile helicopter of the MBB had a certain success as an export item in all of its variants, and Iraq was the first importer with 75 machines, followed by Spain, which uses 70 BO-105s. Indonesia built under licence 130 NBO-105s, with the exception of the rotors and the transmission which come from Germany. As a final point, Sweden has the BO-105 used for observation and search and rescue under the name HKP-9B. So these are characteristics slash stats from late 1996. So I'm going to read these and then we're going to read the 2021 stats. See how they compare. Rotor diameter 9.84 meters, length 11.86 meters, engines 2 Allison 250 C20B turbines developing 313 horsepower each, empty weight 1276 kilograms, weight with a full load 2500 kilograms, capacity capacity 456 litres plus possibly the fixture of a cabin tank with 320 litres, maximum speed 270 kilometres and mission radius 1,112 kilometres. So they're of course 1996 stats. Now we're going to do 2021's stats. One pilot 
and one observer. Capacity, four passengers and one stretcher, or five passengers. Length, 38 feet 11 inches, including rotors. Height, 9 feet 10 inches. Maximum takeoff weight, 5,512 pounds. Fuel capacity, 570 litres, or 150 US gallons. Power plants, as we've heard, they develop 310 kilowatts or 420 shaft horsepower each. Main rotor diameter, 32 feet 3 inches. Main rotor area, 818.6 square feet. Performance, maximum speed, 150 miles an hour or 131 kilometers an hour. Cruising speed, 127 miles per hour 110 kilometers an hour never to exceed 170 miles per hour or 270 kilometers an hour i don't know maybe the rotors will fall off i don't know much about helicopters i am a fixed wing guy range with a standard maximum fuel load is 408 miles 355 nautical miles or 1,525 miles at 5,000 feet. Ferry range is 600 nautical miles, or 1,525 miles with auxiliary tanks. Now, I was thinking about that earlier. Can you fit auxiliary tanks? You, of course, can do inside, but can you do outside? Endurance, 3 hours, 30 minutes, standard fuel payload. Service ceiling... 17,000 feet, rate of climb 1,575 feet per minute and we've been over armaments but more than likely these could have been fitted as well with a light machine gun. So the role is a light utility helicopter, country of origin is West Germany, manufacturer Messerschmitt Bolko Blenheim MBB, first flight 16th of February 1967, introduced 1970. Years in production, 1967 all the way to 2001. Number built in excess of 1,500. And the primary users, and no, I can't say that properly, is the Republic of Korean Army, so of course South Korea, Indonesian Army, Spanish Army and Philippine Navy. But these are the users, military and civilian. So let's start off with military then shall we albanian air force royal bahrain air force royal bahrain navy chilean navy cambodian navy honduras air force indonesian army indonesian navy mexican navy peruvian air force filipino army and navy south korean army sudanese air force which i know very little about Spanish Army, Ukrainian Armed Forces, one example, so of course with the fighting going on over there, who knows where that is now. Now we have government, <clears throat> so we have Argentina, Buenos Aires Police, Santa Fe Police, Police Federal Argentina, of the Paramedic Service of Argentina as well, Australian Federal Police, and the state of Queensland, they also have the Bolko as a police helicopter and in the dual role as an air ambulance, just like the Argentine Federal Police, they also have it as an air ambulance as well. So quite cool really in the dual roles. But is there any more police forces around the world that have them in dual purpose roles? Tell me in the comments. We have Chile again, I imagine um, that is military police. Then we have Germany with the state police and, of course, medical services. Indonesian National Police, Indonesian National Search and Rescue Agency and the National Disaster Agency. Philippines Coast Guard. Russia, Ministry of Emergency Situations. South African Police, Spanish Customs Service, National Police and Guardia Civil. Former users... Burundi 
Air Force. I think that's in Africa. Canadian Coast Guard, all retired in 2016 after the Bell Jet Ranger 429, Chilean Air Force and Coast Guard. Finland, German Army. I didn't actually know they were former users. I thought they were still using them, but obviously not. Iraqi Air Force, Royal Netherlands Air Force and Dutch Police Wing. Philippines Air Force, Sierra Leone Air Force, Sudanese Police Force and of course Sweden with their HKP-9B, four of them, used for light rescue duties equipped with winch. And the Swedish Army also had them from 1987 to 1998 and their technological school the last one of them went in 2009 trinidad and tobago defense force united arab emirates air force new york city police department now i'm very surprised about that in around 1984 a wealthy german businessman imported four to six bulk calls into north korea so obviously to do with their air force i cannot find any photos of them being used in the present day so the kenya police air wing had one bulko in service not too sure when this was probably till the mid 2000s so the functions air transportation of police and government officials to and from inaccessible areas transportation of vips search and rescue casualty evacuation so of course this is an ambulance one association to victims of natural disasters anti-terrorism flights aerial reconnaissance crime prevention air patrols anti-poaching distribution of supplies of course rations and supplies to do with and of course security equipment so this is obviously natural disasters and crowd dispersal traffic control coordination search and aerial photography kenyan air force royal jordanian air force and the Papua New Guinea Air Force, they operated them till 2004. And Uruguayan Navy. Civilian roles, Russia operates them as Medivac. Turkey, Israel, South Africa, Ireland, operated by Irish helicopters. The United Kingdom, the police air wing, air ambulances all across the country including East Anglia the Scottish Ambulance Service and Scottish Helicopters, USA, Virginia State Police, Eagle 3 Accident, Arcadian Ambulance Service Incorporated and Medistar. And when we're here, let's not forget the United Nations. If you are interested in seeing these, there is one down at Land's End, which is in the British medical colours so of course the british air ambulance because we use these up until about 2009 and there is also one at the junction of the a1 and a2 in germany and this is located near hanover so of course this will be on a plinth overlooking the motorway just like sweden does with its old Saab fighter aircraft which I think is fantastic I wish they'd do that in the UK but of course health and safety dictates that they can't okay well this video is far too long but it is country by country so I'll leave you now on this note we're coming up to 100th video so we're going to be doing the Spitfire for the 100th video we're nearly at the 400th subscriber special so once we have 400 subscribers i will be doing the pby consolidated catalina that's the aircraft that found the bismarck in may 1941 so that will of course be a special and we're only a few subscribers away from that video and on sunday the 100th video will come out for the channel which will of course be the supermarine spitfire so I will see you Saturday and Sunday. Ta-da for now.